Once upon a time, in a quaint little village nestled between rolling hills and lush forests, lived a curious and adventurous boy named Lyo. Lyo was known for his unruly mop of hair and his insatiable curiosity. He was always eager to explore the world around him and learn new things. However, the villagers in Lyo's village were wary of the nearby woods, for they believed it was home to a fearsome and wicked witch. The stories told of her casting dark spells and causing mischief in the village. Despite the villagers' fears, Lyo's curiosity got the better of him, and he decided to venture into the woods to discover the truth. One bright morning, when the sun was casting a warm golden glow over the village, Lyo packed a simple lunch and set off on his adventure. He followed a winding path through the woods, his heart pounding with excitement and a hint of trepidation. As he walked deeper into the forest, the trees grew taller, and the air became cooler and crisper. After a while, Lyo stumbled upon a peculiar clearing, where a small, enchanting cottage stood. It had colorful flowers blooming all around, and the sound of gentle laughter drifted through the air. Gathering his courage, Lyo knocked on the cottage door. The door creaked open, revealing a kind-looking woman with twinkling eyes and a warm smile. Well, well, what do we have here? she said in a soft and friendly voice. A brave young soul has come to visit me. Lyo introduced himself and explained that he had heard stories of a wicked witch in the woods. The woman chuckled softly. Ah, those stories are quite exaggerated, my dear. My name is Alara, and I am a witch, but I'm far from wicked. In fact, I enjoy baking cookies and helping the creatures of the forest. As they talked, Lyo realized that Alara was nothing like the stories he had heard. She shared tales of her adventures and the spells she used to make the forest flourish. She even showed him a garden filled with enchanted plants that danced to a melodious tune. Lyo spent the entire day with Alara, learning about the magic of the woods and the wonders it held. As the sun began to set, he realized it was time to return home. Alara gave him a bag filled with freshly baked cookies and a small crystal pendant that sparkled like the stars. With a promise to visit again, Lyo bid farewell to Alara and made his way back to the village. The villagers were astonished to see him return unharmed and he shared his amazing adventure with them. Over time, the stories about the Wicked Witch began to change, and the village started to see Alara for the kind and gentle soul she truly was. Lyo's visits to Alara's cottage became a regular occurrence, and he learned many magical skills from her. He helped the village by using his newfound knowledge to mend broken tools and tend to the crops, turning their once dull village into a thriving community. And so, the brave village boy and the friendly witch formed an unbreakable bond that brought joy and prosperity to the village. The moral of the story is that sometimes, things and people may not be as they seem, and it's important to approach them with an open heart and an open mind.